Hi, I'm Angie. Today I'm making a poppy seed loaf and you just want to do a couple things in advance. I've preheated the oven to 350 and while that's heating I've got three quarters of a cup of milk and I'm going to add one quarter cup of poppy seeds into the milk and let it sit for about half an hour. So you just want to stir that up and let it sit while the oven's preheating and then we'll go on with the rest of the recipe. Okay, now in the bowl of the electric mixer I'm going to cream a half a cup of butter and three quarters of a cup of sugar. So you just want to cream that together. Now I'm going to add in one egg and beat that in. And a second egg. And I'm also going to add in one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. I'm going to stir in the poppy seed mixture that's been sitting for half an hour. That just softens the poppy seeds a little bit. And I'll just stir that to combine it. Now in this bowl I've got two cups of all-purpose flour and I'm going to add in two and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt. And I'll just stir that. At this point you can also add a half cup of maraschino cherries that have been drained and halved, but I'm going to leave those out today and just have the lemon poppy seed flavor. So I'll add that flour mixture into the poppy seed mixture and stir it just to combine. Okay, that's it for the batter. I'm going to put that into the greased 9x5 loaf pan and I'll bake that at 350 for about an hour or until a tester comes out clean. Just smooth that out on top. And I'll pop that in the oven for an hour and I'll show it to you when it's done. Okay, here's the finished loaf. You just want to let it rest for 10 minutes in the pan and then tip it out and let it cool. Thanks for watching and I hope you try some poppy seed loaf.